Hi boys and girls, thanks for joining me for Storytime and Snuggles. I am going to read to you Howard B. Wigglebottom and the Power of Giving, which is a Christmas story. Um, but really, it's a story of giving and how important it is to think about other people and how doing something kind goes a long way. So whether you celebrate Christmas or not, this is a great story for you to think about how you can give to others through doing kind things. Here we go. There's Howard. It was Christmas time, the season for giving, but for Howard B. Wigglebottom, it was the season for getting. Getting new things made Howard happy for a while, but soon he would get bored and want more stuff. Howard, you need to learn to share, said his mom, but Howard wasn't listening. Mom, I'm almost finished with my list for Santa. Oh, Howard, sighed his mom, you already have way more than you need. But Howard wasn't paying attention. He was listening to TV commercials for ideas to add to his list. Wow, look at that long list of things. Do you think he needs all those things? Oh, boy. Howard, will it? We will be going to visit your cousin tomorrow. Pack lots of warm clothes. But Howard wasn't listening. He packed his toys instead. Uh -oh. There they go. Howard and his family arrived at the station just in time. As he was getting on the train, his big bag got caught in the door and the toys spilled all over. When he hopped off to get them, the doors closed and the train left. Howard was all alone. Now look at his mom in the window. Hmm. All those toys he decided to bring, there they are. Uh-oh. There's Howard. Unsure where to go, he started walking. It was really cold. Howard had no money, no food, and no phone. His toys were really heavy, but there was no way he was leaving them there. He heard noises around him. Howard knew he wasn't alone. Her plop. Oh, remember, he doesn't have any warm clothes. He's out there in the woods. Hmm. He started to run but the noises followed him. What do you think those noises are? He found a place to hide. As he stood there cold and alone, he saw a family having dinner. It made him feel really hungry. Howard began to cry and tears froze on his cheek. He thought, oh, I wish I could be warm and home with my family. Will I ever see them again? He sat down outside the window and soon fell asleep. There he is. When Howard woke up, he heard a tiny voice saying, Are you the Santa Bunny? I have a letter for you. He jumped up and grabbed his things yelling, Leave me alone! He was about to run, but he tripped and rolled all the way down a hill. Stuck and unable to move, he watched his toys being grabbed. He tried to scream, but couldn't because his mouth was full of snow. Howard became a giant snowman. Oh, look at this. Look at those birds. What are they doing? We just want to help Santa Bunny said the birds as they put the toys back in the bag. We love you. Howard felt sad and ashamed. They weren't after his toys. Homeless like him, they were just trying to help. The blue bird gave Howard a piece of paper. Oh, I wonder who that little piece of paper is. Do you see it? So they were just trying to help, not take his toys. Dear Santa Bunny, it read, 
I will be so grateful if I can belong to a loving family. Thank you. Howard felt sad and ashamed again. He had a very loving family. He took for granted. He asked the others for their wishes. A warm bed, food, and someone to say I love you. They all answered. Right then he decided to help and take them all home. He made a wish for himself. Dear Santa, please forget my other list. What I really want is to appreciate the good things I already have. Please help me. Singing Christmas carols under the stars, they flew together until they found the way to Howard's house. Howard was happy to get home. After feeding his friends and tucking them into bed, he stayed up a little longer to look at his favorite toys. He had too much stuff. Howard picked a special toy for each of his new friends. He couldn't wait to see their faces as they opened the presents. He'd never felt this joy before. The joy of giving from the heart. If I could only have my family back again, Howard wished he could tell them he was so sorry for his old selfish ways. Sounds like he learned a big lesson. Just then the door opened and there they were. Howard, we've been looking all over for you, said his mom. How did you find your way home, you smart little boy? My new friends helped me, Howard said, and told his family everything that had happened. Can they stay for the holidays? Of course, we would love to have them his parents said. The next evening at Christmas dinner, Howard learned his parents were working on finding a home for each of his new friends. Mine! shouted Howard suddenly. Everyone stopped and stared. Just kidding, he said. I'm into giving and sharing now. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas, everyone. Sounds like Howard learned a lesson about being kind and being um, loving and caring and giving. And giving doesn't have to cost money. It can be something that comes from your heart, just like he said. So my challenge for you is to think of something you can do right from your heart for somebody else. Thanks for joining, boys and girls.